with the release of the new Star Wars movie, there's a renewed interest in Star Wars special effects, so I'm going to show you how to create a lightsaber in Photoshop. We have a photo of a lady holding a sword, and we're going to put our lightsaber effects on her. First thing we want to do is make sure we go over to the lasso tools and choose polygonal lasso tool. Now we need to create a new layer for this effect to happen on, otherwise the lightsaber effect will occur on the entire photo. We just want it on one layer. We come over here and we can make a layer choosing the layer select button down here at the bottom of the layers palette. Or if you're more menu driven, you can come up to layer, new, layer. I'm going to name this layer saber so I can keep track of what I'm doing. I'm going to come over to the lasso tool palette and make sure that I have polygonal chosen. Awesome. Now I'm going to trace around where I want the saber to go. Every time I left click my mouse, it creates a stopping point. Whenever I'm done drawing my shape, I move my lasso tool to the end of where I started and a circle appears. Now I need to grab my paint bucket tool and I want to make sure I fill it with white. Now I come and click in the area with the dancing ants and boom, there's my white. Up next, I come to the layer effects palette and I choose outer glow. In order to see what I'm doing, I move over my window here and I come to the color selector and I'm going to make something red and that's not quite red enough for me. I want it to be a little bit sharper and I click OK. Now I adjust my size and my spread. And as I adjust it, you see on the original photo that my glow is starting to appear. So I adjust the settings how I want them. And it depends on the individual photo you have and your personal taste. There's no right or wrong to this. It's just what you want to create. Click OK. Select. Deselect. And there's my lightsaber. What's really fun about this effect is you could do more than lightsabers with it. You can also do laser beams. I'm going to come over here to the layers palette, click the new layer button, and on this new layer, I'm going to make it laser. Now I grab my polygonal lasso tool, and very similar to what I did with the lightsaber, I'm going to draw a shape coming out of the lady's eyes. Let me finish up one eye here. One area is selected. going to fill it with white. Now I'm going to draw the shape around the other eye and maybe she has a little problem with her eyes and one eye is a little bit crooked so it's going to shoot up there. Draw my shape for her closer eye with a polygonal lasso tool. Now up next is the paint bucket. Fill that area with white. All right now I come down here to my layer effects and I choose outer glow. Once again I come to the selection tool for the colors and this time I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to go with a blue laser. Click OK and now I adjust the spread and the size to make it just how glowy and how vast that I want. I can even play with these other settings as well and make the lasers look just like I like. Select, deselect, and there's a lady holding a lightsaber with laser shooting out of her eyes.